Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a full face of Chanel using a couple of their holiday releases as well. I've already got some primer on which isn't a Chanel one. I do have a Chanel primer but it's really not suited for this time of the year with my oily skin. It's now the end of spring heading towards summer here. I do have the Chanel as the Leblanc as the multi-use illuminating base and this is really nice but it's really only suitable for the middle of winter with my skin so I have put on the Tom Ford it's the traceless soft matte primer and I got out the last pump and a bit and this is now empty but I do have a backup I think this is a really great primer this primer and the hourglass the new hourglass primer are my go-to primers with my oily skin I think both are just absolutely fantastic so for foundation today i'm going to use the labages it's the water fresh tint this would have to be one of my favorite foundations from the chanel line of foundations and i think i've got about three or four different chanel foundations and what i like about this one is even though i have oily skin i can wear this all year round and it's really lovely this time of the year it's very cooling when you put it on and it's really lightweight and I always think it makes your skin look just very very natural it's like that your skin but better and it always amazes me when I put this on because initially for the first 30 seconds or a minute I don't think it's really doing anything and then after about a minute or two once it all settles in you can just see this really beautiful light coverage so the other day when I put a video up of a Chanel haul that I did and that included the holiday products and some new to me products I also included this because I'd almost run out of my other one now the other one that I've got is in medium light and I picked up the shade in medium to see what it was like so I'm going to use the one in medium today I have used this and the shade is fine and I could probably wear this shade all year round as well. So I'm just taking a Sonia G brush. This is one of the travel brushes that she put out not too long ago. And I just break up all the pigment on the back of my hand. And then I just start applying it. So this is a really interesting foundation. It just looks really beautiful once it's just been sitting on your skin for about a minute and it is quite warm today it's overcast and we've had a bit of rain we've also had quite a few thunderstorms as well today so hopefully there's no thunder while i'm doing this video and because it's a little bit more humid it's just nice to put on a just a really lightweight foundation and for concealer it'll be no surprise that i've reached for the chanel the new sublimage one this is in shade 30 it's absolutely gorgeous and i've got used to applying this now and because i've used it nearly every single day since i purchased this and it was probably about four weeks ago now that i purchased this a lot has gone from the inner cap and it's not so messy to use now so i just take the little spatula and i'm just still going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and what i've found really good this is the brush that came with the Sicily concealer and it's quite small and quite firm and then I just take just a little bit from the back of my hand and I just put some in the inner corner of each eye. The other thing with this concealer I find that if I accidentally put too much under my eye it doesn't seem to matter, it doesn't seem to make it look thick or start to cake up during the day or anything like that so if I do tend to make that mistake it really doesn't matter with this one whereas with other concealers that I've tried I really do have to put on just such a tiny amount to begin with and be really careful otherwise they can start to look quite cakey and I've got used to putting on quite a small amount and sometimes I do add a little bit but I just start off with this amount and then I just take a brush and start in the inner corner and just pat across. This really is a beautiful concealer and quite a few of my subscribers that have purchased it have let me know by replying to me in the comments from my first couple of videos 
that they've got it and they just absolutely love it as well. So I'm really pleased to get the feedback from my subscribers that they are loving it. It really is just such a beautiful concealer. And for the powder, it's the Westman Atelier. It's the Vital Press Skincare Powder. This is in the shade Creme. Everything that I am putting on my face today, I will have listed and linked in the description box below. And I like to put on powder under my eyes using my finger. It's enough just to set the concealer, but not too much. And this is a really beautiful under eye powder. It sets the concealer, but it doesn't dry underneath my eyes. And even though I have oily skin, I don't want my under eyes to be dry at all because as soon as they start drying out, that's when my wrinkles and crinkles under my eyes start getting really emphasized. But I just find the combination of the sublimage and that pressed powder, the By Terry pressed powder is very good as well. Both are really beautiful. And the combination of both is just really beautiful and really natural. It doesn't look powdered under my eyes. It just takes a little bit of that shine away and sets it and just makes it last all day. And I think it's a really beautiful combination. And to powder my face down, I'm going to use the Chanel It's the Natural Finish Loose Powder. This is in the shade 30 and I'm actually getting through this powder. I'm over half way through it. So I've got quite a bit up here. So I'm just going to tip a little bit into the cap and then I'm going to take a BK Beauty brush and this is the 105. It's just a really nice big dense brush. Just tap into the powder and I'll just tap the powder over and it just sets that tint down really really beautiful the water fresh tint I think it's a really lovely combination and for bronzer I'm going to use the Chanel it's the healthy glow bronzing cream this is in the one in tan deep bronze this year Chanel put out a medium one which I still haven't picked up yet so I have the light one and then I have this one in tan deep and I think this one in Tan Deep looks really lovely. So I've just got a Sonia G brush. This one is the classic base. And I just swirl it into there. And just tap it on. I think this gives a really beautiful look to the skin. This bronzing cream, I think it's really, really lovely. I also love those oversized LeBeige's bronzers that came out this year. I think they're gorgeous too. But I want to sort of rotate through my products and just reach for ones I haven't reached for in a while because I don't want these to go to waste. So now let's take a look at the eyeshadow quad. I have already played around with this and I really like it. I was in two minds with it to pick this up but I think it is really lovely. Now I'm going to do at least another one or two videos using this quad instead of just one video and doing three eye looks. So today I'll probably just use two or three of the shades that are in here. But here is the outside packaging of the quad and it is really lovely. And you can see there the beautiful picture there of the moon. Now on the outside or on the edges of the quad it's also color coded to reflect the shadows that are inside. So this has a shelf life of 18 months and it is made in Italy and has the standard two grams of product and it comes with the usual Chanel pouch and on the outside is gold interlocking the double C's for the CC logo because it's a holiday edition. And we'll take a look inside. I'll just take off the plastic cover and the two little applicators that come with this. And here is the color story. It is really lovely. Now, as I was saying, I was in two minds about this. I saw some videos where using all four together, they can look like it's just all one shadow, apart from the really gold 
shade down here but it really is a beautiful quad and initially when I tried it I thought I wish that this brown shade here was a bit more deeper but I really just come to accept it for what it is it's actually quite soft it's a very warm color story but it's also really soft as well and I do think it is really really pretty So these are swatched from left to right and top to bottom. And these two are sort of more satin shades. They are very soft, very beautiful. This is more like a topper shade, but it's more opaque than the one that was released in last year's holiday. And the darker brown here, this one is a matte. And the brushes that I'm going to use today, these are Chanel ones and I picked these up a few weeks ago and I think these are really good brushes. So these are the only ones that I'm going to use to put my eyeshadow on today. So one is the Jewel Ended, it's the Eye Contour number 201 and the other one is called the Jewel Ended Eyeshadow and it is number 200. When I first bought these, I tried them out without washing them first because I was dying to see what they were like. And I found that they were a little bit stiff. But once I'd washed them, they did soften up quite a bit. And they also bloomed a little bit. Now these are synthetic, they're not natural fiber. But I think they do a really fantastic job. And I just really enjoy using them. So that's what I'm going to use today. So first of all, I'm going to go into the deepest shade first, and this one is the Jewel Ended Eyeshadow Brush. So at one end, it is quite fluffy, which is good for blending. And this one is quite good for placing product, but it also is slightly fluffy as well. So you can blend a little bit with the side, but I'll start off, I think, with the side here. And I'm going to go into this brown. And I'm just going to place it on the outside. Now, this is going to be quite a soft look. So I've just taken a little bit more and just sort of placing it in. And then I'm going to swap to the other side and I'm just going to do blend this out. Now I'm going to take it just through the crease and slightly above. And then I've just wiped this brush down and now I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm going to put that over the rest of my lid. Take it up just through here. And then we're going to take the eye contour brush and go back into the darker shade and I'm going to put some just on the lower lash line. And then staying with this brush, I'm going to try and get a little bit more depth into the brown. Last time I tried this, you can't get it too much deeper, but you're able to place in a little bit more pigment and this brush is a little bit more dense than the other one so you can slightly get more payoff you can also wet the brush and put the shadow on dampened as well and again you can get a little bit more depth with that as well so it's only very subtle and i'll also try the other end just to place just a little bit more shadow on the very outer corner and then I've just taken the other brush and this is the more fluffy edge and I'll just go around the edges just to soften them out and then I'm going to use the sponge tip applicator to put on a little bit of this gold shade now for this eye look I'm not going to use a lot of it. I'm just going to use the applique just to place a little bit in here and just in the inner corner. 
and I'm going to use the Chanel eyeliner this is the waterproof one and this is in the shade espresso and I'm going to put some in my waterline on my upper lash line and I'm also just going to put a little bit on my lower lash line as well And for blush, I'm just going to use a very light pink colour. This is the Chanel one. This is in the shade. This is Rose Patel. And it looks like it is number 99. And today I'm going to use a BK Beauty brush. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy one. And it is the A507. So this still has the little brush inside it. But this is just a really really beautiful soft shade and I really just want a hint of blush I'm about to use some of that highlighter soon so I just want to keep the blush very very subtle so now we'll take a look at the oversized illuminating face powder I got the one in all rose and this is still quite a deep one the other one was more deep but even this one is still quite deep. I used this as a highlighter the other day and I thought it was very beautiful. I also think this would be great added into the eyeshadow quad too for an eye look. I haven't tried it like that yet, but I think I will in an upcoming video. So I'll have a play around with it over the next few days and just see how that looks on the eye. I think it would look really, really beautiful. So the packaging is oversized and it is the same size as those oversized bronzers that came out earlier this year and instead of the Le Beige's covering it has the really lovely gold and the interlocking C's on the front. The embossing on this is just really really beautiful. So this is what it looks like and there is a big Chanel number no. 5 bottle on the imprint of the moon there I think it is really gorgeous so I'm going to take a Chocohoto brush this is very soft this one is the KZ this is a 03 one and just go very lightly into here and I'm just going to put some just on the high points now I did use this the other day like I was saying I've used this a couple of times and I've also used it all over a blush as well. That looks really beautiful. And I've also used it before putting on the blush. And that looked really lovely too. So you get a really beautiful, it's a subtle highlight. And this is called an illuminating powder. So you're not going to get that wet look, which I don't particularly like with a highlight anyway. I like it really subtle. And I think, considering that this is a very soft brush, I think you get a decent amount of payoff. It is illuminating and it's not, it doesn't look there. Is a little bit of sparkle, but it's more of a sheen. It's not chunky or glittery in any way. I think it looks really, really lovely. And like I said, I've tried it underneath the blush and all over the top but just on the cheekbones, I think looks really, really beautiful. And the formula is gorgeous as well. And it just applies really beautifully. And I think it is a really lovely highlighter. So for the lip liner today, I'm gonna to use the Chanel one. And I bought this the other day. So this is new to me. And it is in the shade Nude Bronze. So I'm just going to put some of this on first and then I also bought a new to me lipstick as well and I've tried both of these together the other day and I thought they looked really really gorgeous. And the lipstick that I've got is the Rouge Coco Bloom and this is in the shade 110 Chance. And I really like the formula of the Bloom lipsticks, but the two that I got when they were released, they're quite bright colors. One is an orange and one is a red, and I wanted more of a nude one. 
and I thought this would look really lovely. This is my type of colour and it is really, really gorgeous. And the so the overall look is really, really beautiful. And I took a long time to decide whether I was going to buy this Chanel quad or not. As I said, I had seen videos where when all four of the shades were applied, they do, or they look like they all are blended into one. And then I saw some other videos and I thought that the quad looked really beautiful. There was also another product released with this holiday collection and that was there were two different shades of a gloss and I also saw a video where that was applied over the top of the eyeshadow and that does lift it a little bit more and give you a little bit more lightness and I was seriously considering getting that gloss but I thought I think it was a little bit sticky and it might look okay for about an hour or two but with my oily skin, I just don't think it would last. It might be all right, as I was saying, for a couple of hours. But after that, it would probably end up looking greasy and probably start moving the eyeshadow around a bit. Although those of you that have eyelids that are a little bit more drier from normal to dry, I think that the gloss over top would look really beautiful. And I also forgot to mention that the nail polish that I'm wearing today is also from the Holiday Edition. And this is the one Clear de Lune, and it is a really beautiful shade. Really, really gorgeous. It's got that green and gold in it, and it's just beautiful. So I have two coats of this polish on, and I put it on a couple of days ago. So this is the third day, and I'm in the process at the moment. It's now spring, so... Every evening I am grooming out my Newfoundland dog, so I'm doing quite a bit of work with my hands and the nail polish is actually wearing really well. And I think it just looks really, really beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. So just with the three shadows that I use from the quad, I think that the look is really beautiful and it's also very, very soft. And I think as long as you don't expect a huge punch from the colours, although you can get more pigment if you do have a wet brush, especially with this gold top shade, but you really don't get much more depth out of the brown shade. But if you accept that it's going to be more of a soft look, then I think you will really love this quad. And after my haul video when I showed all the products that I got, I had a few comments where people had bought the quad and they were absolutely thrilled with it. And I would say that it is really pretty. It's probably not my favourite Chanel quad. And out of this one and the holiday one last year, I probably prefer the holiday one last year that had the black in it and you got that traditional real smoky look. But this one is really pretty too. And I nearly didn't get this one, but I am pleased that I did. I've worn it for, this would be the third day that I've tried it on. And the other day when I went out and wore it, someone commented when I was in a shop and said how pretty my eyeshadow looked. So that was confirmation that this really is a really pretty color story. And I think that the highlighter is gorgeous too. So I was saying that I've used it underneath the blush and over the top as well, all over. And today it's just on the high points here. I think it's really subtle. I think it's really beautiful and just gives a really gorgeous soft glow to the cheeks. I think it's really, really pretty. And of course the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. And I think that the lip liner and that Rouge Coco Bloom go really beautifully together. The Bloom Formula lipstick is gorgeous. It gives a really beautiful gloss and it feels really beautiful and emollient on too. So I think the combination together is really lovely. So overall, I am really pleased with the products that I picked up when I finally made up my mind and decided what I was going to get. I wasn't too sure about the quad. Like I said, it's probably not my favourite quad. But I do think it looks really beautiful on. And as I was saying, I've already had a compliment about it when I've been wearing it out and about, saying how 
pretty it looks and asking what it was. So I will do one or two more videos using all these products and this quad again to get some different eye looks as well and I'll probably do those throughout December sometime. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.